What's going on YouTube? It's Anthony from CompSize Studio and welcome back to your fifth Java Advanced tutorial. So um, I should have done this in the last tutorial. It's going to be really quick. I'm just going to basically show you guys how to print out all the values within your power enum. So say we had an enum that was in the actual, say we downloaded a library for <clears throat> creating 2D video games and we have an enum but we don't actually know the values within it. Um, we could actually print them out just by using an enhanced for loop. So if you guys don't remember how to use an enhanced for loop or you guys skip that tutorial completely, up in the right corner up here I'm going to post a link and it's just going to link you to my tutorial on enhanced for loops. So if you guys are still here, let's um, start creating our enhanced for loop. So to do this we use the keyword for and then inside for we're going to create a temporary variable for our power enum. So to do this all we have to do is go power we could call it, let's say, temp, and then just use our colon separator, if you guys remember that, and then we just type power dot values. So basically, what's going on here, and off with the curly braces, of course, what's going on here, we created a for loop, an enhanced for loop, and we created a temporary variable to store our values from our power enum. And basically, these values are just going to be taken in from power.values and it's going to be taken and put into our temporary variable which is going to be then printed out down here and we're just going to print out temp <clears throat> and then we could do a little prompt the value here we could just go the value is colon plus temp and if we run this, we should get the value is strong, the value is moderate, and the value is weak. So that's all I'm going to have for this tutorial. It's really short and sweet. And then finally, we're going to be wrapping up enums in the next tutorial. I'm going to be teaching you guys something a little more complicated, but I'm sure you guys can get it. So if you like this video, make sure you comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.